Welcome to Bismart Together. I mainly focus on Power Query and Excel. If you new, please subscribe and turn on the notification. Also, feel free to drop a comment to give feedback, ask questions or let me know if there are any topics you're interested in. Today, I want to cover a few DAX filter functions, all, all except, all selected. Those are commonly used filter functions that help you achieve data visualization goals. We have a simple sales transactions table. The table contains the sales channel, product description, brand, sales quantity, unit price, etc. For the time being, I have already added to the data model. Let us quickly create the sales measure with the SUMX function by multiplying the quantity with the unit price. Let's create the remainder measures, and then I will explain them. The first measure is to use the all function. We can't use the all function alone, and we will use the calculate function to aid our explanation. The first argument is the sales measure we wrote earlier. We want to use the all function in the second argument. The all function only has one argument. We can use a table or a column. We want to use the sales table in this instance and add the close parenthesis to finish the formula. Now create the second all function example. Same as the previous example, we want to use the calculation function for this example and the remainder examples. This time, we want to use the brand column. The following measure we want to create is to use the all selected function. Again, use the calculation function and the sales measure. The second argument is the all selected function. There is only one argument, use the brand column. We want to use the all except function in the last measure. Same thing, use the calculate functions and the sales measure. The second argument is the all except function. This function consists of two arguments. The first argument required a table, use the sales table in this case. The second argument required a column, use the brand column. Let us view the measure in Excel. Expand the sales table. Insert the brand column and the product description column. For the measure, we want to add sales measure, the first all functions example, the second all functions example, the all selected functions measure, and the all except functions measure. Let's add the subtotal at the brand level and then update the number format to currency. Look at the sales measure and it is a common view. We want to use this as a standard view compared to other measures. One thing to note, when we use the pivot table summarize the sales by product and brand, each value is a filtered value. For example, this item has context filtered on brand and product. Now look at our first example. The all function removed the filter at the table level. Removed at the table level means we get the grand total as an outcome. Let's move on to the all functions second example. We remove the filter at the brand level. In the pivot table, you should see the subtotal of the brand as the grand total value, which filter is removed. Let's jump straight to the last measure and return to the third one later. The all except function removes the context filter except for the brand column, as we specified in the formula. Look at the brand, SS. You will see the value of each SS product has the filter removed, so you get the total value of each brand. So, why are we creating those measure? Insert the sales measure again. Right-click on the inserted sales measures header, select show value as, and choose the percent of grand total. The value should be in percentage, representing the percent of grand total. Basically, the calculation is the sales value divided by the total value. In certain circumstances, we need to calculate it manually. Right-click on the sales percentage header and change it to show the value as the percent of parent row total. If you sum up all the value of the SS product, look at the brand's total and you will see the value on the left is incorrect. Let's switch over to the power pivot and create another measure. Name the measure, percent of row total. 
We want to use the sales value divided by the all except functions measure. Return to Excel and insert the new measure into the pivot table. Update the measure to the appropriate format. The value for each product remains the same, but the brand's total is now correctly shown as 100%. Finally, let us go through the last measure we created with the all selected function. You may realize that the outcome looks the same as the example example. If you look at the formula, both formulas specify the brand's column. Let us switch over to the power pivot and select the all selected measure. If you click within the all selected formula after the close square brace, the syntax requirement is a table name or a column name. Now select the second measure created with the all function and click within all functions formula after the close square brace. The syntax requirement is a table name or multiple column names. Insert the second column, say sales channel. We also want to update the first measure, replacing the table name with the brand column. With those updates, I can better explain the differences between the all and all selected functions. Return to Excel. We want to insert the sales channel into the row after the brand. Select the sales channel, right click on it and enable the subtotal. Look at the two measures. The outcome is different now as we specified an additional column to the example two and we are not able to add the additional column to the third measure due to its limitation. As we have seen earlier when we compare the two measures specified only a single column in the formula, the outcome looks the same. Insert an additional column to the all function, if the evaluation at the product level will remain the same. You should get the same outcome at the product level. However, the evaluation outcome at the sales channel subtotal level is difference. You should see no difference if you compare the subtotal at the brand level. The key difference between the all and all selected functions is at the subtotal level. The all function removes the filter based on the column you specified. The all function also removes the filter based on the specified column but only limit to a table or a column. The filter functions are a crucial topic and knowledge you must obtain when comes to writing the DAX function. You need to understand the functions well to avoid unforeseen data visualization errors. If you are using Power BI, you might want to use the remove filter function instead of the all function as I don't have it in Excel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.